And I'm gonna let you tell that story. When we were hanging out in Miami, we had been hanging out yes. all night, and, right. and, and we are we're, what, what we're a couple months away from getting drafted. Yeah, a couple, couple months away from getting getting drafted. And, right, we're uh, about to be first rounders, yeah, both yeah. in basketball and in football. Right. We know we were going to be first rounders, and and we were hanging out one night late, having a few. Uh, <laughs> Celebratory yeah, cocktails. cocktails you know yeah, I mean, yeah, celebratory getting, cocktails yeah, yeah. in Miami. Yeah. And, and, and we decided to go get some breakfast. Yeah, yeah, we decided to go get some breakfast. We had, uh, you also had your guy who played with you in tight end. Uh, what's his name? Fredo uh, Robinson. Fredo Robinson. Fredo, who, who Fredo's, with us. Fredo's a coach now yeah. for the LA Chargers. Yeah, we, and we had a couple girls with us. So we, we probably had about 20 people by the time. Oh, we decided, my wife didn't hear that yeah. part. Okay, she was man, my lady then. Yeah, yeah, but that's oh, okay. That's out there now. Okay, that's way out there. I mean, that's 30 years. Just put it on out there. I'm like, you told me to tell the story. I'm putting it out there. It's a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, so, okay, a long time we, ago. We, we have about, by the time we say we're going to go to bread, we got about 20 people. So um, now, you know, and, and, oh and you, you know Mike. I mean, he was, he wanted to, you know, I think he was oh. having church all the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we get to, we get to Denny's and we having a good time. I mean, we ate everything. Everybody ate everything. Everything we were eating all day, and we decided. I mean, no, we realized at the end of the night when we get ready to pay the bill that none of us had any money. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody had no money. Like we, nobody. so he was like, "Oh my God, what are we gonna do?" I oh. mean, we get ready to go to the draft. No one has any money, and Mike, like, man, I, just, I gotta talk to the owner. We just gotta talk to the owner, man. Just tell him we ain't got no money, man. We'll come we, back we and pay. Come, we gotta face up. We gotta face up, man. We gotta come back. We, we, got, we got millions on the line, missing. <laughs> we're about to get drafted, dude. We got do this the right way, dude. We don't, want to, we don't want to get the police involved with this mess. We don't, we don't want to get it. They call the police anyway. They call the police. So, so we let Mike handle it. You know, we let Mike do the talking because he wanted to do all the talking anyway. Of course, anyway. of course. So I'm like, go ahead, Mike, man. You, you go and handle it. I'll stay in the background. You know what I mean? Let me stay in the back. So what did you say to the owner? Oh, my God. We, I, I just told him, listen, man, listen, we got a situation here, man. We, we didn't expect this to be. And I, and I think, you know, back then you may have had, if you had $13, yeah. $12, $13 oh, we made rolling. when you're going out, you you probably spent that on a $7, $8 drink. Oh, no, we are rolling. Oh, no question so, about so, it. So you really ain't got nothing left when you got <laughs> in that room. And we talk, started talking about breakfast. So I started talking to the guy about, listen, man, you know, can, can, is there any way I, 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 I can get you the money? I'm about to get drafted. Mitch is about to get drafted. Can we put an IOU? Can I sign some kind of IOU? <laughs> then I'll come back and uh, give you his money. Yeah. But but it ain't necessarily go for that. They call, they call the police Yeah, they call anyway. the They call the loans. But, yeah. Man, luckily we uh, we paid it somehow. I don't, yeah. Did you pay it? No, 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 no. Uh, Mike, did you pay? It? No, no. What happened was the, the, the police that came, <laughs> they took it. They helped us out. Yeah. The police came. They knew we were about to get drafted, and they said, "Guys, this could really be bad for you guys." And, and they actually pitched in and helped us out, man. So you know, I know we you hear a lot of stuff about about the cops, and and they and they were you know they they they, they were white cops. So so I appreciate those guys helping those brothers out because that would have been a that would have been a horrible story, man. To get yeah. out right before you drafted. Yeah, uh, Mike, you ended up right. going eleventh that year in I the nineteen eighty draft. Mitch, you were fifth. Yeah. Mitch was fifth, right. and, and, and we were sitting there. We, and I don't know how we got the girls because we were broke. <laughs> <laughs> we were flat out broke. Uh, they, I think they well, thought that well, you we were about you to get wouldn't know it when Mike talked. You, you, <laughs> think he got a, you would think he got a million dollars in his pocket. Yeah, he had yeah. nothing. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.